and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be taking a look at the Security Vaults add-on. So, yeah. Let's get into it. So this will probably just be a shorter review. Just going over it. Um, and I wanted to do a shorter review today because tomorrow will be a bit special. So I want a bit of extra time to work on the, uh, what I've got planned for tomorrow. So, and hopefully I'll be able to get that so, and tomorrow sorted out, uh, uh, well, sorted out in time. All my plans for tomorrow sorted out. So yeah, uh, so basically, like the gist of this is, you can craft these vaults and they protect your stuff. So like, pe you know, uh, if you're playing on the multiplayer realm, or so oh god damn it, why? Also, this one's small. Oh. Uh, I don't like these books. Also, zero. They got security vaults, navigation. You uh, can uh, switch the book by pressing interact or attack the book to pick it up. You can uh, pick up the book. Oh wait, so yeah, punch goes back, interact goes forward, and then you use uh, crouch punch to uh, there. Uh, to go back. Uh, no, to pick it up, sorry. Uh, security vaults are solid uh, containers uh, of four different sizes where you can store loot, mobs, and anything you want, including yourself. Anything inside your vault stays protected uh, from anything you can think of, even TNT. Craft a vault and place it to uh, give it uh, a cool name and a custom code. For maximum security, share the code with only people you trust. After that, it's time to customize. So you can disguise it, turn on the radio, change the name. So, hold on, let's go into here and put in, go to all, the, uh, all, vault. So you got the book, which is a security vault mode. Anyway, so you got Tiny security vault, which is an iron ingot, iron ingots, uh, a chest, and a security module. So, what is a security module? Oh, oh they're all called like security vaults, so I can just bring security. Anyway, security module is four iron, ing iron nuggets, and a redstone repeater, and four redstone dust. You can also make a remote security key, which is an iron ingot, security module, and an ender pill. Uh, so you've got the tiny security vault, which is a chest, security module, and iron ingots. The small one, which is a uh, tiny security vault, and I blocks of iron. That is a lot of iron. You've got the large security vault, which is a small with iron blocks around it. And then giant, which is a large with iron blocks around it. So yeah, that's a lot of iron to get a big one to gain. Dude, one. So let's get to all of these and we'll take a look at them. So this is tiny. So you place it down so you can put so, so that's the name, password, one, two, three, four, submit so you can open it, put stuff in it, interact, as well, sneak and interact to control room. So access vault to interact, sneak, interact, with the control menu, so you just like put, so you can put stuff in it, and you just enter password, one, two, three, four. Then you can close it. And then it's got a really cool animation. I really like the animations. So you got, so I was, right now, I just, I thought I put tiny in there. And the password, one, two, three, four. Oh, one, two, three, four. Open. Now I put small in there. Tiny in there, so small, large, giant, there we go. 
Now, one change I would make to this is um, if it's open, you shouldn't need to put the password in again. So next up we have small. Oh! You call this small? Well, yeah, you can, you can jump inside of it. And I, uh, and I think you can even like place like blocks. Uh, give at key diamond block. Oh yeah, I'm in creative, I forgot. So yeah, you can place blocks in here. Uh, so yeah, small vault, enter password, one, two, three, four. So you can close it up and lock yourself inside. Uh, enter password, one, two, three, four. You can open it. And you can put like chests in here. So, it was. So, if I get chests, and you can also store entities in here. But if you want to store chests, uh, that. Three, four double, four and a half double chests. So four chests, double chests. Well, actually, you could also get a few more here. You can't really do that here. Um, you can't really do that here because then you'd be covering those chests up. Or well, you could still access them, but it'd be a bit more difficult. Um, but yeah, and then you could just do what? Can you place block? You can't place block. Oh, I think that'll bug this out. Hold on, let me see what that does when I close this. Uh, enter password. One, two, three, four. Submit. Close. Yeah, so you can't have that there because uh, it blocks the door. That's actually quite smart that it knows that the door's being blocked. So yeah, enter, enter password. One, two, three, four. Clues. Yeah, that's a cool. So yeah, that's cool. So that was the small security vault. Let's check out the large security vault. Yeah, that's a. So you can store a lot of stuff in this one because, again, let's get some chests. I don't know why I got rid of them before. There's a double chest there. A double chest there and a single chest there. So that's two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Wait, no. One, two, three, four, five, five, ten. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70 and a half. Yeah, yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, 20, 21, 22 and a half double chests there. 22, and then you could have some here. So 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, Double chests. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And then you can close this on up. Uh, name, password, one, two, three, four. Submit, close. And that's that one. And yeah, and the 
giant one. Uh, let's um, I'll put this one over here. Oh uh, wow, well that this is just playing entire goddamn basin. Jeez. Like right, so that's one, two, three, four. Okay, okay and then that's one, two, three, four. So for that, that's two, four, six, eight, nine. But, so, hold on, let me get my calculator out, so that's 9, so, uh, there it is, calculator, so that's 9 times 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 times 9, so that's 81 chests along there. Then, so, but 81 minus 9 is 72, plus 72. So, along this wall and that wall, that's seven, 153 chests. And then here you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, if you want to... Okay. So let's do this. We have another row here. If you want to fill it completely with chests, so that's what one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's so that's one fifty. So six times nine. 153, 153, 153, so that's 54 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 10. that's 270 plus 153 equals, so that's 423 chests you can uh, store in here with this, like, right, covering that wall, covering that wall, and like, building these all up to the top. I don't even know, in survival, could you even reach game mode zero? Can you even reach that top chest all the way up there? I don't think you can. Uh, no, that chest there. Like that chest there is like the last one you get, so you get... You can reach, so you do need like. Oh, why is it? No, oh, should be coming through my headphones, but it's not for some reason. The stupid thing being annoying. Like the video I was watching earlier, that was coming through my headphones. Anyway, uh. So that's the last one you can reach. So you can like one of flying suit so that you reach these last top two. Uh, but you can also just like build like a mini base in one of these. So uh, let's get rid of the chests. Also, be careful because in creative you can accidentally break these floor blocks. Yeah, because I accidentally break one there. But you can't just pick block it. So if you get rid of this. So... Let's get a, so you do want like a crafting table, so let's get some chests, so you obviously, if you're going to make this into a base, you're going to want at least some storage. So let's get a couple of double chests along here. I 
action. Mm. Let's, let me get some slabs. Not with the burr. So let's, so let's do, so it's kind of metallic in here, so I think smooth stone slabs would work. And you can still open chests with the air. Oh, no, not lower slabs, stupid game. So you can't open chests onto lower slabs. So then we could have a second floor here. Going up to there. And up here we could have a bed. So we could have like hold on. Wait. I just cannot hit what I want to hit today. So where is the center block? So I think it's about here, so that's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, yes, yeah, so center block there. Then you can just have some uh O E key. Get some slab. Some slabs there. Just make it a yield bed frame. Uh, you can't really make casings easily without like add on other add ons, but uh, I'm not the best builder, but you can, you know, you could probably build uh, something better. So you could sleep up here and then down here, uh, get some ladders or something. Well, actually, L E R. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's interesting. Oh, well, uh, lad ladder. So just have a ladder going up here, and then this will be like the same floor where you can sleep. Can I go down, please? There we go. So you have some chests, you have an ender chest, get some furnaces. Oh, I must have accidentally broke that one as well without realizing. There we go. Also, why is my pickaxe and shovel there now? Two, three, four. Actually, yeah, I can't be. Yeah, I won't be. Hold on. Uh, bat, bat, clip, and. Put that there, there you go. Got your ender chest there. Uh, just do them in there. Then you can have like an enchanting setup if you want. Enchant. So enchanting table. Book. Some bookcases. So uh, you could have that like over here. I think that should be enough to get to level 30 enchantments. No, level 20, hold on. Twenty four, twenty eight, thirty. There we go. And then you could just have and could have a door. Well, you could have a second door if you want. Just get some. Uh, 
Okay. Get some oak planks. Build up around here. Uh, you'd want to do that. Then you could have another layer of planks here. That there, and just get some. Let's do dark oak for the doors. There you go, you got a little hat, you got a little base inside your vault. Which you can let go into, and it's perfectly, and everything can use perfectly safe. And then you can just close it up. One, two, three, four. Close. And then anybody can get in on this in creative mode and break the uh, in normally indestructible blocks. Uh, let's take a look at this remote. So, uh, oh yeah, here we go. So you can just like right click it to uh, it to list all your vaults. You can uh, oh, and it, you can teleport into it. Or two, or two of the tiny one. You can't teleport into it, but yeah, that's cool. You can change password, so enter new password. Uh, four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. And you got like customization. You can rotate it so it faces north instead. So, customization. With a, a password or set, you can select customization in the menu and start changing the appearance, name, and music to suit your taste. So, what can I customize? Seven different textures to hide your vault. Five awesome uh, block background the songs to play in your vault. And set a custom vault's name. So, uh, enter password, one, two, three, four, submit. So, customization. So, we can change the name to Giant Vault. Giant Vault. You can change the texture, so you can have it standard, you can have it look like dirt. You can have it look like grass. You have it look like Neverwack, if you want to hide it in the nether. You make it look like sand. Make it look like stone. Make it look like endstone. And you can make it look like bookshelves. I mean, it does look cool, but it's not really very well, like, camouflage, because you can, you can kind of just, like, be like, yeah, that's a big vault. I mean, like, if you have it, like, have that, that side, it's fine. But this side, you can't really hide this side. And it's really the uh, side that you want to hide. Submit. So there's other customizations. So you can change the vault music. So you got Neon Noodles Hut. A uh, bunch of different songs. I'm just going to show one off because I don't... Because some... Uh, add-ons are a bit iffy whether or not uh, they you'll get a copyright strike for using their music. But yeah, this is a cool, cool song. Now I'm gonna get out again because I don't want to get copyright strike. Strike. So yeah. Enter password, one, two, three, four, submit, close. Again, I still think you should be, if it's open, you should be able to access it without needing the password. 
So you can just close it without you know, needing the password. So it also says everything in there should be safe. So what I'm going to do real quick is we're going to save and quit. I'm going to go to the add-on review. We're going to create, uh, duplicate the world. So we're going to go to add-on review one. I'm gonna just blow the blow it up, like in a m just nuke it. Oh, actually, ooh, what I could do uh, is ah, oh. right. We'll do some vanilla stuff now, and after we do, after I've done the vanilla stuff, we'll try. I'll get the uh, TN. I'll re-download the TNT add-on and try with that so let's get some tnt some obs obsidian uh, and at the end and crystals right so around the base i'm just gonna have a row of end crystals Here we go, got some end crystals at the base. Then I'm gonna cover the rest in TNT. Here we go. So I'll make a ring around here. So I'll go, I'll sort this out real quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and uh, let's see how big of an explosion this makes. I put some villagers in there, so, so if they survive, you probably will. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's yeah, it's perfectly fine. I honestly didn't expect that to uh, work. One, two, three, four, and all the villagers inside are perfectly fine and trying to escape. And the password. <laughs> Close. He's a little bit stuck in the door, but it's fine. So now I'll then we go and download the T uh, the more TNT add-on and see how well this stands up against the other add-ons. So yeah, uh, be back in a minute. 
<coughs> yeah, okay, I've downloaded the more TNT add-on. Um, so I've got some of them here. Let's start off with the Colossal, I guess. Boom. Flint and Steel. Yeah, wow. Yeah, it, su it survived the Colossal TNT. What about Ultra TNT? Oh. I hit. Uh, I think they're fine, but I did hear them take damage, so. Oh, survived Ultra TNT. Next up is the Lava TNT. I think this one actually replaces Plot. So this one might be able to break it just by the fact that it sort of replaces it. Yeah, hold on. Enter password. One, two, three, four. Open. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, yeah, the, the, ah, the, so the Colossal TNT did actually manage to break through it. The walls are still intact, but the, uh, everything inside did not survive. It's still playing music, though. No. Uh, so let's close it back up. One, two, three, four. Submit. Close. Oh, and they can't close now because the lava's in the way. Did the lava manage... So the lava did not manage to replace the blocks. Just managed to put lava inside of it. Submit clues. Uh, and implosion TNT is the last one. Oh yeah, that that destroyed it. Oh wait, okay, it bugged out. So the actual. Okay, so. Yeah, you can, yeah, that worked. Implosion TNT did break, so it's, the, yeah, it's not the, uh, it's not, the, um, to, it's not really that bad that, uh, it got broken by the Implosion TNT, like, it breaks everything, it, even like Obsidian. So, yeah, it's not like, oh my god, it's, this add-on is pointless because it can't stand up to the implosion TNT. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, if you do have the have uh, these two add-ons uh, on at the same time, you do have to be aware of that. Uh, and it does bug it out a good yeah. I don't even think I, I yeah I can't open oh wait I've been placing yeah. so yeah I uh, Oh, so if I try to teleport to it now, where will it take me? Giant Vault. Still takes me here. So, yeah. Uh, that's the end of this review. And yeah, it's a pretty cool uh, add-on. Uh, what I would like to see uh, in a future update, like maybe, is like... Um, Vaults like picking gear where basically um you make this like vault 
you know, a way to like crack the vaults. And I and the, the like the easiest one that to like craft would be the one that you know breaks into this one, and then you know it, uh, they all like are more difficult to craft. Um, and the, the, and you know basic, and then basically you'd use them on the vault. Uh, a mini game would like pop up, and the, uh, if you won the mini game, um, the vault would open. And that you'd be able to like get into other people's vaults, um, and like change and change like change the password and like change it out and like change the disguise and stuff and basically just like mess with other people's vaults and get in and steal their stuff. Um, and if you failed it, then you know it, you wouldn't be able to get in. Uh, and obviously, like the they to get progressively more and more difficult. You know the you know. The bigger the vault. Uh, also, uh, it would also be like a one-time use thing. So it'd be, you know, it would have to be expensive and a one-time use thing. So to keep it, to make sure it's not t super OP. But yeah, uh, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next uh, one. And uh, the, the, let's watch these all explode together. My game is not happy. Oh, there you go. Oh. Yep. Um. Oh. Am I back? Here we go. Yeah. There we go. They're still going off. So yeah, again, hope you guys all did enjoy this video. Hope to see you guys in the next one. And bye-bye. Uh,